Good afternoon, everyone. It is my sincere pleasure to join you this evening as we celebrate the seventh annual Celebrating Wellness event brought to you by the Ministry of Health. Celebrating Wellness is an event that has been happening since 2011. Events like this have never been more important. Common risk factors underlying the most preventable diseases are physical inactivity, unhealthy diet, tobacco use, and harmful use of alcohol. It is our hope at the Ministry of Health that events like this one today will be the starting point to stimulate a new level of interest in the area of health and well-being. The Ministry of Health is here to promote a healthy lifestyle through healthy eating and active living at any age. But this year, Celebrating Wellness focuses on youth under the theme, Securing a Brighter Future for Our Youth, ages 15 to 29, with the slogan, be fresh, be cool, reduce the risk. That's because establishing positive health behaviors now will reward you with good health as you age. So why is the health of our youth so important? The health of our population impacts our ability to work, to prosper, and to live well. Conversely, if the population is unhealthy, it reduces the number of people who are working, prospering, and living well. And this has significant economic and social costs. Now, since you are young, the young people here, I want to ask you to get, see if you can guess the number. Young people, are you listening? Answer this question for me. How many people out of 100 have no risk factors for getting diseases like cancer, heart disease, or diabetes? Zero? I wish. 50, maybe 25 have no risk? Well, in Bermuda, that number is three. Three people out of 100 have no risk factors for getting those diseases related to lifestyle, according to a 2014 survey done by the ministry. So how do we reduce the risk of getting a lifestyle-related disease? We focus on our youngest members of society so that we are developing healthy habits from the start. Just remember this, drink more water and often, eat food that makes you look and feel good and be active. And I'm not just speaking to our young people when I say this. There are many influences on how healthy a young person's environment is, like family, community, and social economic factors. And there are also lifestyle factors such as communicable diseases, violence, injury, body weights, physical activity, nutrition, and substance use. We need to ensure that social, economic, and physical environments help us to live longer, healthier lives, and I will be looking for policy, legislative, and funding arrangements that encourage better health. In the throne speech, there were a number of initiatives, including halting the rise of diabetes and obesity, and we also have youth-focused education and health programs. One you will be hearing more about is the Premier's Youth Fitness Program. The ministries of health and education, with the full support of the Premier, are running this program in our public and private schools. The aim is to help students be more active and make healthy nutrition choices. We also have Healthy Schools Program, which promotes nutritious lunches and water-only policies or practices in our schools. Statistics show that three out of every four adults is overweight or obese. It is vital that we halt and indeed reverse the growing trend of overweight and obese people in Bermuda. I want to make sure our youth understand how precious good health is and to start everyone on the road to well-being, not just for now, but 50 years from now. Our population is unhealthy and it is costing us all a lot. It's costing people because they cannot enjoy their lives to the full because they are sick, and it is costing money in health care and insurance premiums. Wouldn't we all like to see people enjoying healthy time with their children and their grandchildren and also to see health care premiums go down? They're all actually tied together. So in closing, I want to thank you all for your organizations taking part, which include the In Motion School of Dance, the Athletic Club, Geisha Renee, Mirrors, Vitals, Environmental Health, CADA, Bermuda Cancer and Health Center,
Pride Bermuda, and many more. Thank you also to organizations, the Health Promotion Office at the Department of Health, and the Select Sites Group. Our partners include Well Bermuda Partners, the Chamber of Commerce, and the Corporation of Hamilton. We encourage everyone here today to enjoy the selection of healthy food options available, to take advantage of the free screenings on offer, and to try out the various activities available and to have a good time celebrating wellness. Wellness is vitally important. It will take some work to get Bermuda back on track, but this government is ready to see this happen and will work hard towards the goal of healthy people and healthy communities. Thank you.